TDC and BDC. What do they mean? If you've ever seen a diesel engine cycle diagram and been confused, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Denison, creator of Marine Diesel Basics, the first visual guide to marine diesel systems. Let's jump in. These four strokes of a four stroke diesel engine in two revolutions of the crankshaft are often displayed in a valve timing diagram. When you first see the diagram, it can appear complicated. So in this video, we're going to explore what the diagram is telling us. First, we have our cylinder with the piston at the top. When the piston is right at the top, that's top dead center. When it's right at the bottom, that's bottom dead center. This is the intake stroke beginning just before top dead center. There's the valve open. The piston is moving down and the, the intake stroke begins about 10 degrees before top dead center and ends just after bottom dead center. The exact degrees depends on the engine and the manufacturer. Next comes the compression stroke. The piston is moving up. It begins about 25 degrees after bottom dead center. Next the power stroke initiated by the injector which fires just before top dead center, just before the piston hits the top of the stroke. The expanding gases push the piston down and then the exhaust stroke. In fact, the exhaust valve opens just before the piston hits bottom dead center. Then the piston rises, pushing out the exhaust gases. The exhaust valve opens about 20 degrees before bottom dead center. You notice, it closes just after top dead center. You may also have noticed that the air intake valve is open at the same time as the exhaust valve. It opens just before top dead center, but the exhaust valve doesn't close until just after top dead center. This is called valve overlap. This aids the efficiency of the engine. So just to recap, we have top dead center, and bottom dead center. The intake stroke beginning just before top dead center while the piston's moving down. The compression stroke beginning after bottom dead center. Then the power stroke with the piston moving down. And finally the exhaust stroke with the piston moving up. Short lines will show where and how many degrees before top dead center or bottom dead center each action is taking place. And there we are. Not so mysterious after all. A simple valve timing diagram. Thanks for watching and I hope that clears up some of the confusion. Please don't forget to like, share and comment on this video and head over to my Patreon page. For as little as $3 a month you could become a patron and help me translate these videos into multiple languages to help sailors around the world. And until next time, I wish you fair winds and a reliable diesel.